inspired by the Beer Dad's beer reviews today, where he's been reviewing Arbor Owls, I thought it's about time I cracked open my Arbor Owls. This is the elusive Space Hardware, New England IPA, coming in a big one pint can. This is a monster, but what's it gonna taste like? Let's keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today, we're hitting the big pint cans with this Arbor Space Hardware. Like all Arbor beers, it's coming in a 568 mil can. This is a 6.6% New England IPA, heavily hopped uh, with Equinox, Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe. This is the Arbor one that I've been wanting to try. The other one that I really want to try is the Faked Alaska, which is one that the Beer Dad has uh, reviewed today. And after his review, made me want to want to get it even more. So um, just a big shout out to Beer Dad. Great reviewer. He's getting close to his 1,000. So if you're not a subscriber, check him out. Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Um, he does some great reviews. Uh, and especially at weekends, he puts loads of different videos out. Um, but anyway, back to my video. This is Arbor and the Space Hardware. It's a lovely, I just, I just, it's so clean this can. It's, you know, it's just all blue. It's got this nice sort of, it's like got a slight sort of pattern to it. Um, it's got this, obviously the, all their stuff's got this maple leaf on it, making them think, uh, you know, that they're not from Bristol, they're from Canada, but they are from Bristol. Um, and let's crack it open, stick it in a big can, but it's in a big can, so let's stick it in a big glass and uh, and see what it's all about. It's just, it's a, for a New England IPA, it's a sort of, Almost a strange selection of uh, of hops. Equinox, Galaxy, Simcoe, there's Mosaic. There's no Citra in this, which is usually what you would expect. Um, Azaka, they seem to use, do quite a lot of stuff with Azaka. There's not in here. So Equinox, Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe. Four different hops. I've poured it badly because I'm obviously talking too much and I'm not, not thinking about the actual pour. So we've got quite an orangey New England IPA. It's not usually... You know, they, I expect them a little lighter than this. We've got, it's a free finger, but it's a badly poured uh, head. I mean, it's a pint, pint. We're going to be getting, filling this glass up a couple of times if I keep pouring it like this. It looks nice. It's orangey. The head is fairly compacted and it's just a sort of off-white with a slight orange sort of tinge to it. So let's see what it smells like. Yeah, I'm getting orange and passion fruit. I'm getting sort of a peachy sort of aroma as well. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Uh, there's lots of lots of sort of tropical and sort of orangey and citrus notes, but it's it's difficult to pick out one thing over another. So I think the best thing to do is to drink it. Cheers, everyone. got a lovely soft mouth feel and it's got a real juicy sort of flavour to it. Lots of oranges, sweet little tangerines, clementines, those sort of oranges. But there's more to it than that. There's a lot, you can tell there's lots of different hops and they're all sort of like battling to, to sort of be, I'm the big one, you know, this is what our taste is all about. So I'm getting that orange and other citrus, lemons and limes and those sort of things. Then I'm getting a sort of a mango and a peach sort of flavour. I'm not really getting, there's no bitterness. It's very typical in terms of a New England and it's got a nice soft mouthfeel and, and very low levels of bitterness. What else am I getting? I'm not getting grapefruit, but I'm, getting, I'm not getting pineapple. It's really all about the sort of oranges and the passion fruit and peach, all those flavours. Yeah, there's a little bit of earthy dankness, a bit of pininess as well in there. But really the first big taste is a real big juice bomb. And it's a real, it's a really strong fruity flavour, but it's much more in that sort of orangey passion fruit sort of flavour. Is there a bit of peach? I think there's a bit of peach and there's a bit of apricot, a bit of stone fruits and a bit of mango, but it's, it's led more by the orange and passion fruit. It's almost got a, it's almost like a hybrid IPA for me because it's got a soft mouthfeel and, and low bitterness of a New England. 
but it has those sort of flavors that are much more, I think, typical of the sort of Californian pale owls, you know, the American pale owls, which have got more of a sort of orange and passion fruit and those sort of flavors in there. But it's, it's a nice, easy drinker. And it's another smasher from Arbor Ales. I mean, they're, they're starting to become, I mean, I'm, I think I've said it on other videos, but it's easy to sort of get a little bit carried away with these because you're getting a massive can. So straight away you're thinking, I love you because you've given me a massive big, big can to drink and I'm getting better value for money. But actually behind it all, they make some really good beers, you know, of all, and of all different types. I mean, I haven't had their stouts and I haven't, they, they do a stouts, they do lagers. I don't know if they do sours, and they, but they do lots of different ones and I've only gone for a few. So we have Massive Azaka, still my favourite one. Uh, Galazaka is also another good one. We had the Zero Zero, which was a sort of session IPA. That was pretty good as well. This one is pretty, this is, this is up there with those. It's a cracking beer. And I would say, give it, let me know if there's any, if you've seen any of my reviews, if there's any Arbor ones that I've missed that I should be trying, uh, let me know in the comments what they are. What's your favourite Arbor Ales? This one is a really good one. I mean, I mean, I've been waiting a long time for it. And it's worth the wait. Yeah, those orangey sort of, with a slight sort of pine needles flavour is coming through. For a New England IPA, I think it's a lot more. It's quite different. You don't, you know, a New England IPA. I always think you either get big on the stone fruits, or you get big on those sort of pineapple and grapefruit sort of flavors. But this is more the orange and passion fruit. That's the real leader of this. But it makes it a real sort of. There's lots of flavors to get those taste buds around. It's a beautiful beer. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Space Hardware by our brows. This is a New England IPA, uh, heavily hopped, super heavily hopped, it says on the can, uh, with Equinox, Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe hops. Yeah, I'm thinking, you know, Equinox, Simcoe, Mosaic, they can have that sort of dankness and, and some slight more piney West Coast sort of, you get them more in those sort of West Coast beers, Galaxy more on the East Coast. So I, I think it's a real hybrid in terms of its uh, what it's all about. It says it's a New England, but I, I wouldn't call it a traditional New England uh, IPA. For me, it's a, it has a lot of West Coast sort of properties, but with that New England sort of, uh, that sort of mouthfeel and low bitterness. But let's go for the scores. Firstly, aroma. Well, it's got a, again, not a typical New England IPA aroma. It's much more oranges. There's lots of oranges, passion fruit. They're the big aromas. There's also a sort of peachy sort of aroma in there as well. I wouldn't say it was it was it was going to that sort of more stronger tropical sort of mangoes and it's not really I don't think it's even at that sort of apricot sort of aroma really about peaches peaches passion fruit and oranges they're the big sort of hitters in terms of aroma it's it's nice it's pleasant I'm giving it 13 though for aroma uh, appearance wise well it's a lovely orangey hazy beer we've got a sliver of head still there I mean obviously when I first poured it we had a massive head it's a nice looking beer it's a solid 8 out of 10 for appearance Flavour wise, well, I like the aromas. There's lots of orange in terms of a flavour. There's passion fruit. They're the massive flavours. There's, there's not really much in terms of, there's a little sort of bit of mango in there. And you get a little bit of pininess on the back end, but it's, you know, it doesn't go into any sort of bitterness. It's just like a little bit of pine needle, sort of piney, sort of soft, slight flavour there. There's not much grapefruit in this there's not much uh there's not other tropicals like your pineapples and stuff like that um, and there's not to be honest there's not huge amounts of citrus in terms of sort of your lemons and limes you're getting a much more orangey passion fruit peachy with pine noodles the best way to describe it it's got a really soft mouth feel and and pretty much no bitterness i mean it's not real what i would call it bitterness but there is a little bit of pininess there on the back end which you know, you can it moves towards a bitterness. It can really be. It can dry. It's quite dry on the on the back end as well. It's not bad the flavour, but I think it's a little bit more 
two sort of those sort of stronger flavors that you get more with a west coast american sort of pale ales so not as sort of fresh and bright as i like like a lot of my new england so it's solid 33 for flavor value for money well it's, it's a pint can 568 mil you think the most beers are 440 you know in the sort of larger cans the tall boys as they call them um but 568 you know that's another need to do some maths here 20 percent more is it 20 percent more beer you know so it's great value i mean this beer did cost me a fiver but when you think i've paid fiver for 440 beers it's not bad it's not bad if it was a because we've had some of the other um, arbors that were like under four pounds so i think they would get much higher value. they did get much higher but because it was a fiver i'm giving it eight out of ten for value and then my overall experience it's a nice beer and it's got lots of hops in it. It's very hop forward. I think as a New England though, it, it, it's it's too much of that sort of orangey passion fruit flavours, which is more, I think, you know, when people, when, when you class things as IPAs, you know, think of some of the IPAs that we've had recently, I'm just going through my list. You know, it's not like the Hop City or the Cairo Pop, for example. It's more like your Looper IPA that we had. Um, it's more like um, um, some of the other ones like from the, uh, I'm just trying to remember which other ones we've had. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 a lot of the sort of other tra more traditional IPAs, the Flock, the Big Brew, those sort of ones, um, they're much more sort of orangey. They're much more passion fruit. There's a lot more sort of almost like a slightly pioneer flavour that sort of goes through those sort of um, those sort of fruit flavours. You won't taste this and go, yeah. I mean. I've I've taken you you will go you taste that there's nothing in here that I haven't tasted before. It's it's got that soft mouth feel, but it is a little bit orangey, which is a dominant flavour. It really is orange and passion fruit. When you've got those flavours, I think they really sort of dominate a beer and not much else can get through. So I'm gonna get 13 for my overall experience. So we top those scores up, we get um a 75. So it's a good beer, it's a recommended, it's not highly recommended, we didn't get up to the 80. And I think probably out of all the arbors, it's it's probably not at the high, it's probably one of the lowest levels. I looked, I've just looked back in terms of what I've got right here, and I I know so I remember the other one, my little Sabrony, which we got from uh, Sainsbury's, actually did did rate higher than that. And then, and I think the Massive Azaka is a brilliant beer, and I think the Galazaka is a, is brilliant mainly because of the Izaka hops, which I do really like. Um, this one's a little different. It's a little bit different than your New England IPAs that you've probably had before, uh, but it's still a solid IPA. 75, our brows again. It's in a big can, so you know, you've got to love it. So that's my review for our brows, Space Hardware. As I said, Flaked Alaska, that's the one I want to drink. You know, that's the re that's the one. But if there's any other Arbrows that you think I should try, um, then let me know in the comments. What's your favourite Arbrows? Have you never had an Arbrows? Because you should definitely try try them because I think they're they're really good beers. So hope you've enjoyed that review. And until the next one, keep on rocking.